Hey guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about our company core values. So this was an interesting exercise that I went through and did, and I recommend you guys doing it too. So I came up with some core values for my family, for life stuff, and then also for my business. And I got creative and made the business one spell out care. And the reason my coach at the time had me do this exercise is really these big core values, the things that are most important to you, um, really help when running a business. They help make sure that you hire the right person, let them go when it's time. They help your team make decisions if you're not always there by reminding them of what's most important. And really, if you get off track, your team can kind of challenge and guide you back and get back on track. So that's why we have them. And our core values, again, spell out care. The first one is communication. This one's super important. It's not always the easiest for me, so I have to keep it top of mind and, you know, communicate with the team members consistently, with my clients consistently. We communicate in a timely manner and in a professional way. We don't avoid tough conversations. We get it all out there. We aim to be respectful and ask for help and communicate how we're feeling. And this helps avoid resentment and our culture is one where nothing is left unsaid. So if you need something and something's wrong, please communicate that. And it helps to avoid the drama, the resentment, and really just increases transparency all along the way. So what it looks like to really uphold and support this value. Be clear with what your requests and commitments are, what your time schedule looks like, how you're feeling about it. If something's not clear, please request clarification. Like I really, I want to know, I want feedback. It's not always easy to receive feedback all the time, but it's so helpful and worth it. So so please surface and share frustrations as soon as they're identified and ask for support proactively, like before you're dying. If there's emotions involved, go to the source. Don't talk to everyone else, but the person who you need to talk to, although it's hard, have those difficult conversations and just come from a compassionate and curious perspective to really learn about everyone's different experiences. I like regular check-ins with my team and being present in our meetings as agreed. We communicate with clients and a healthy and direct way, even when it's not always fun or positive. And then we're professional in our communication with other agents, title companies, lenders, and everyone really. So that's why it's super important. We communicate with everyone in a timely manner and in a professional way. We don't avoid tough conversations. We're respectful. We ask for help and we communicate how we're feeling. Behaviors that would go against or break this value is just getting grumpy and upset instead of like clearing the air and getting clarity on what you need. Not speaking up if you're on clear or if something's left unsaid and then absolutely not ghosting like if you're not available if something comes up just let us know let me know let your direct support know and we will we'll deal with it but communication is huge and it's a big part of our team and company value